The focus of our STEM and program is really to provide hands-on experiences that can engage and excite our students. For example, things that are very low-tech like building a boat or making volcanoes or things that are very high-tech like exploring the universe with virtual reality. One of the experiments were a volcano. So how we made it was we, we used vinegar and baking soda to make the volcano erupt. My favorite model was when we did the earthquake experiment. We had to make structures of buildings using marshmallows and popsticks. And we shaked it around a fake earthquake with jelly. We're going to set up a student-led tech team. So where these students then will support other students within their classroom, but also they will support students below them. We've also been collaborating with other schools um, within the Cognito group and also globally, where we'll have students maybe share some of the work they've done. And we've had Skype calls with them. It's a great way, again, of engaging students, learning about different cultures and different languages. We've spoken with schools as far west as Israel and as far east as Hawaii. We're talking about students who are five, six, seven years old, so the chances are they're not going to go into a workplace by 15, maybe 20 years' time. So we're not 100% sure what um, jobs will be there, but what we want to do, we want to use coding and the robotics to, to build up skills that they will then go on and use um, whatever jobs they look to go to. We've had this nice continuum of uh, integrated subjects. So in math, we studied scale. In science, we were learning about space technology. So in stem -in, we combined those two things and we made uh, scale models of space technology. In stem -in, we also try to combine two things that a lot of people consider separate, which is creativity and computational thinking. stem -in really bridges the gap between being creative and thinking the reason. So the theme guiding our new projects this spring is global connectedness. So our grade fives are currently working on saving the world and how they plan to do that. They are looking at different environmental issues involving water pollution, GMOs and their implications, air pollution and a variety of other things that they think is important and affecting our world today. Mostly at schools you will just get a sheet of paper and like write all of these answers and then tell me and then you get to but really, experiments are really fun. 